East San Diego's urban jungle stretches for miles. But in the middle of all that concrete is a bright spot of green. And you probably wouldn't even notice it if you walked by. You might think it was a park or maybe an overgrown backyard. But this little garden is actually a very special place. It's called New Roots. And it's one of the very first refugee gardens in the nation. Originally, it was created to help refugees earn income, and it does. But over time, it became clear it's something much more powerful than just that. For many of the gardeners, this garden is a place of healing from trauma. They are from all over the planet, all backgrounds, all walks of life, an incredibly diverse group of people, and yet they're also incredibly united around this little patch of earth. And they've maintained the garden for over a decade because it is that much of a lifeline. And when you ask the gardeners about the garden, they get sort of dreamy-eyed and they use words like sacred and holy ground. So when COVID-19 hit, many gardeners and their neighbors lost jobs. And over time, they began having to make some really hard decisions. Will they pay rent or buy gas so they can go to a job interview? Will they pay bills or will they feed their kids? Now, some were already struggling before the virus, but after COVID, everything just got worse. And so several gardeners approached us and they asked if we could help and we were jumping in. We're inviting the community to donate. Every gift of $15 will be used to purchase a produce bag from the gardeners and then we'll deliver that produce to struggling neighbors in need. So by donating a produce bag, you're actually doing several things. You're supporting hyper-local, chemical-free gardening. You're supporting hardworking refugees in need. And you're feeding hungry families in the community. So please consider donating. Thank you guys for all the support you've already shown to this community. And know that you're having a huge impact and it's making all the difference to these neighbors. And we're grateful. <laughs>